Australian farmers are right on the pointy end of the whole climate change debate. Natural grass-fed beef, where they're eating the grass, the grass is growing, where we have a natural ecosystem, a natural carbon cycle happening here on the farm, we're basically being able to draw more carbon out of the atmosphere than what we produce. As farmers, we can actually help by sequestering the carbon out of the atmosphere. What we do here is we are in a natural ecosystem. So we have basically a carbon cycle here where the cows are eating the grass, the cows are, yes, they're producing methane, but it's all a cyclical thing. So the manure gets absorbed by dung beetles, gets into the grass, the grass grows, the cattle eat the grass, the roots go down into the soil, the roots going into the soil deposits carbon into the soil and locks it down. So there is a, it is part of a carbon cycle. We've planted 70 odd thousand trees in our time here. The key to our revegetation strategy is to uh, utilise local species. We're fortunate to be along a rail trail here. So we collected seed from remnant trees along the rail trail. We propagated all of those ourselves. So my mother has propagated over 70,000 trees. She's 87 at the moment and going strong. It's been a great journey and, and to see photos of the kids when they're really little and now to see trees that are you know, 40 metres high, it's just fantastic. And uh, the biodiversity and all those sorts of things that come in as part of what we do has been really important. The big journey that we're on present obviously is is the whole uh, carbon neutral beef program and so although we've been working quietly in the background for a long time uh, that's our next journey here is to to really to ramp that up and to be able to underpin what we're doing with our carbon neutral beef um, with some some real rigour.